Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Yep, just right up here. There you go. Welcome to my radio tower, Hell's Wanderer. Yes, it is quite cozy up here. This is where I do all of my broadcasts for all of Hell to hear me and to get all sorts of fans on my side. <laughs> What are my broadcasts about? Well, I have certain things I have to talk about. Be it be drama around the rings, or even mm, news-related subjects, or I would be just broadcasting one of my own playwrights. Yes, of course, I do playwrights all the time. Either it be drama, horror, that's one of my favorites, and just all sorts of stories that I've made up myself. And most of them get pretty good reviews. Mm-hmm. But we're not here to broadcast any of those silly little stories that I have written today. No, no, no. I plan to broadcast today something really special. Mm-hmm. And of course, it that special thing was about you. Yes. Well, you see, you had the first person to ever do something about the exterminations and be successful about it. Well, besides Charlie, with the whole and, and about the thing with the hotel and stuff, but you're the only first person to actually go up to heaven and talk with the big man G.O.D. himself and actually get something done with him. That's a first time in hell's history that has ever happened. You could say you're quite famous around here now, Hell's Wanderer. I mean, you were famous and the first time you were here. I mean, it's very, very rare to have a human alive in Hell, wandering around, making sure that everything's going swell and dandy. And you're the only one that's actually been in contact with God for such a long time. You have no idea how special that is. Well, yes, of course, you've also talked to Lucifer. You became friends with him and you made a deal with him, which I'm still surprised about. But you still made a deal with him with keeping your soul. And you have a special little gift from him as well. It's very rare for the King of Hell to own a soul that has, well, put similar terms, ownership over himself. It is quite rare. But the broadcast, like I was saying, it's usually about, um, like I said, stories and news-related stuff and whatever goes around in hell. But this broadcast is going to be about you and how you pushed back the exterminations. Mm-hmm. Yes, this broadcast is going to be all about you. And that's why I brought you up here, so you can see it firsthand and how the people will react. I mean, with this view of my radio tower, you can see all seven circles. I'm 
overcompensating, but you can see all of the old places around here in the Pride Ring from this tower. Yes, it's very large out here, but you know, my radio tower gets every single area around here. Mm hmm. It's very useful. Here, let me show you. Okay, you have to press this button here. And... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hellborns and others, welcome back to the Alistair's radio broadcast. Today's weather is abnormally hot, as always, with a chance of acid rain around in the areas where... No. Oh. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I have a very special broadcast for you all today. We have a very special guest up here in my tower. Please give us a warm welcome to Hell's Wanderer, the human of hell. Now, obviously, they're not going to hear all your cheers and clapping, but we have very exciting news for you all down there. You see, I want to say about a month ago, Hell's Wanderer themselves had a meeting, and that meeting was inside of Heaven itself, and Hell's Wanderer has decided have this meeting, and it was with God himself. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. God himself had a conversation with our very own Hell's Wanderer. And the conversation was about how the exterminations were pushed forward for six months at a time. And, well, God responded kindly saying that he had no idea that the exterminations were pushed forward that short of time between each other. And so, God decided himself that he was going to push back the exterminations the way that they were. Though he cannot stop them entirely, it is rather a good thing that God did to help us hellborn and whatnot down here to be prepared. Because of the overpopulation of hell, they obviously cannot stop this uh, extermination day, but they did push it back to its regular time. On another hand, there are other interesting things that has happened recently. You see, with information that I have gathered myself, Hell's Wanderer has found out that the King of Hell himself, Lucifer Morningstar, was supposedly s supposed to start with rehabilitating sinners to send them back up to heaven as soon as he was sent down here, all those eons ago. I know it's very surprising news, but... The only reason why he didn't start these rehabilitations was because he was betrayed by his fellow angels when he was once one. Adam himself bit was supposed to give him the materials to start rehabilitations down here. But you know how Adam is. <laughs> He betrayed Lucifer's trust and sent him down with nothing. And that's why that happened. But I digress. And also, if you are looking to get rehabilitated, why not come on down to the Has Been Hotel, where rehabilitation is our forte, and you'll be able to see me Alistor, the radio demon, in person. 
So if you are a fan of me and want to be rehabilitated and sent your soul all the way back up to heaven to have a second chance, come on down to the Has Been Hotel. I assure you, you will have such a great time. But that will be the end of my broadcast. Thank you all to have been tuning in, and remember, if you do not like our broadcasts, well, your screams might be on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the end of the broadcast. So, Hell's Wanderer, what do you think? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I only put a little bit of fear in some people's hearts if they don't tune in. But if you will see down there, there is now a little line in front of the hotel. So, if you will excuse me, I have my job to do to help out these poor little sinners in helping them out in rehabilitation. So, excuse me. <laughs>